Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about frequency tables and tally charts. And what they are is a way of taking data like this in a list and making it into a nice table so I can really see and understand the information. Now, frequency ta table record how many or how much something occurs or how much we like it. Just depends on what we're talking about. So frequency, that's my focus. My title will be favorite ice cream flavor. And I'm going to put probably the type, the flavor. And my flavors are chocolate, Rocky Road, and I'm going to cheat. Usually you would write it all out, but I'm going to cheat just for time. Chocolate, Rocky Road, vanilla, and strawberry. And again, I would write all this out make it pretty. But for right now, I'm just cheating a little bit. So my title, my type, my flavor, my category, what kind of chart I'm using, uh, what kind of table I'm making, a frequency table, listing them, and then we're going to count them up. So frequency, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. And last but not least, strawberry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what I really like about this information rather than this information is that I can understand this table a lot more than I can off the top of my head when I look at this. Because this just looks like a lot, a long list. And it would take me a little bit, I'd have to figure it out. When I look at this, I know automatically seven people like Rocky Road, four people like vanilla. It just makes the information a lot easier to understand. Now, a tally chart is very similar to a frequency table, but instead of um, frequency, we're going to put tally. Now, I'm cheating because my um, table has already been made, but if I was just making one from scratch, I would write my title first. I would write my category, which is my flavor. And I would write whether or not I'm doing tally or a frequency. Now tally charts are very helpful as well, especially when you're counting information one by one. However, they can get a little bit tricky if you start getting really big numbers like 22. Because with tallies, you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And if you start having a bunch of these, it can get a little, um, a little, crowded, it can get a little bit harder to understand than a frequency table. So I like to use these for a bit smaller data sets. Now flavor again, I'm going to cheat. Chocolate, Rocky Road, vanilla, and strawberry. And my information, I'm going to cheat. Normally, if this would not be here. If I, if I have a list like this, this probably isn't here to help me. But sometimes you're not given the list, you're given the frequency chart. You have to know how to go in between them, like switch them to each kind. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have four frequency. So one, two, three, four. Then I have seven. Then four again, and then six. And I'm sure, sorry for the shaking camera. I'm using my own hand <laughs> and my phone. Maybe not the best idea, but at least it helps with the tutorial. Now I can use all of these information to create a bar chart, a bar chart or bar graph. My, t my title would be the same. Now I'm going to cheat again, but normally I would write it out. This is just to save a little bit of time. Favorite ice cream flavor. Now you have an X axis and a Y axis. This is your Y axis. The Y axis is vertical. It'll go up and down. X axis, X axis. is going to go horizontally, side to side. So up, down, side to side. Now, this little area right here where the x-axis meets the y-axis, we call that the origin. Now that's just our starting point. Now, most of the time it's zero. 
Sometimes it won't be zero, but that just depends on how big your numbers are and what you're um, using. But for the most part, it's usually zero. You're starting from nothing. Now, I need a title over here. I need to know what these numbers mean. Now, I pulled numbers of stu these students. So m these are my number of students. So number of students. Because what would 10 mean if I didn't know? You got to have a title over on this side to help me understand what these mean. Same thing with down here. I have to have my categories listed. Chocolate, Rocky Road, Vanilla, and Strawberry. Otherwise, I don't know which one has the most um, students like it. It's just, it's very hard to read if you don't have your information listed. So, flavors. So these are my flavors. These are my numbers of students. And I just filled in which flavors we used. So I'm starting at the origin. Four people liked chocolate. So I'm gonna make my bar. Now you can shade it in, leave it blank, whatever suits you. I'm just gonna shade it in a little bit so it's easier to see. Okay. Now, Rocky Road starting at the origin. This one, seven people liked. I'm gonna try and keep my bars the same just cause I don't want to be confused. Like this one's width is bigger. No. If they're talking about the same thing, flavors, I don't want to confuse myself. I just want to be able to see automatically this one is bigger than this one. So I'm going to try and keep them a little bit the same width as possible. So vanilla, four people liked. And this is not the prettiest looking graph, but you could change these colors. Um, you could do this a lot. Um, you could do this on your computer. You can make this a lot better. However you want to do it, you can. I'm just doing the quick way. <laughs> Strawberry, six people liked. So I'm going to keep going until I hit six. Whoop. Awesome. I've completed my bar graph. Now, Using a bar graph is really helpful because I can automatically see, well, they had the same amount of people like them. This one was the most. This one only had one difference, a difference of one that separated them from being from strawberry from being tied. So if I was ever asked, what's the difference between Rocky Road and strawberry? Well, difference means subtraction. So seven minus six, one. It just helps me see the information a lot easier and it really just makes each of these a lot more um, understandable. Now we're going to be doing these a lot more and I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment or ask me. Hope you have a good night. Bye.